Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to compute the change in mean or average. Alright, let's consider the following problem. It reads the average score of 5 students are recorded above. So we have the average score of 5 students. Question, by how much does the mean score change if a 6 student with a score of 29 is added? Okay, alright, so let's go ahead and um, solve the problem. The first thing we're going to write down is the formula for calculating average, okay, or mean. So the mean or average x bar is given by the formula sum of values divided by the number of values, okay? Sum of values divided by number of values. And then another formula we want to keep in mind is the change in mean. Okay? The change in the mean value is basically the final mean minus the initial mean. All right? So there are two mean values that um, you're going to be computing and determining the difference of. And we can also express this formula as x bar 2, the second mean or final mean, minus x bar 1, the initial mean. All right, so let's go ahead and um, apply these formulas to this problem. So we want to look for the initial mean first, basically the mean score of the five students. All right, so the initial mean let's call that x bar initial, let's call that 1 is going to be the sum of values, so we're going to add all the 5 scores 21 plus 20 plus 22 plus 21 plus 24 so that's the sum of values and we're going to divide that by the number of values. So how many values are we adding? We're adding a total of five. All right, so this will give us the initial mean before the sixth, the score of the sixth student is added. All right, so let's go ahead and compute that with our calculators. We have parentheses, well, let's add, let's find the sum first. So the sum is 21 plus 20, plus 22, plus 21, plus 24, so 21, 20, 22, 21, 24, the, the sum is 108, let's write that down, so we have a sum of 108, sum of values, So we have 108 divided by um, the number of values, which is 5. All right, let's compute that with our calculators. 108 divided by 5. So the mean score of the first five students is 21.6. All right, so this is the initial mean. So let's go ahead and find the final mean. What's the final mean? Well. To find the final mean, we're going to be adding one more student, the sixth student, okay? So we're going to call this x bar 2, indicating the second or final mean. So we're going to um, document the sum of values, 21 plus 20 plus 22 plus 21 plus 24. This is the initial sum, but we need to add the score of the sixth student, which is 29. All right, so we add that there, and you notice our sum is going to change, and the number of values will change also, because instead of just five values, we have six. Okay, so let's go ahead and compute the sum. So we already know what the sum of the initial uh, five um, was. It's 108, so we can just take 108 and do what? We just simply add the next one, which is 29, and we get 137. Divide that, so let's write down the sum. The new sum is 137, and we're dividing it by the new number of values, which is 6, since we added an additional student. 
So we have 137 divided by 6, and the answer is 22.83 repeating. All right, so it's 22.83 repeating. All right, so what is the change in the mean? The change in the mean is x2, the final mean minus the initial mean, right? So it's going to be 22.83 repeating minus 21.6. Let's put that into our calculator. So we already have the other answer, so we just press the minus button, and it copies this answer here, and then we are subtracting 21.6, and we get 1.23 repeating. 1.23 repeating. Now, the sign of the mean tells us if it's an increase or decrease, okay? So since the sign is positive, that indicates an increase. So let's go ahead and write down uh, what our answer means, okay? So the conclusion is that the mean score, the mean score does what? Increases, since it's positive, increases by... 1.23 repeating points. Okay, that's the answer to question number one. All right, let's take a look at another example. This uh, we are now applying the previous example we did. We're looking at the sports application now. So the problem is as follows: the three-point shooting percentage of the top four basketballers of all time starting from number two, basically we're looking at number two um, to five, um, is recorded in the table above. If 45.4%, the three-point percentage of Steve Kerr, the highest three-point percentage shooter of all times, is added, by how much will the mean of the three-point percentage scored change? Okay, so this is exactly as the same problem as we have um, in the past. So we're going to go ahead and um, start by writing down uh, what the initial mean is. So we want to find out what the initial mean is, okay? So initial mean, uh, we're going to call that x bar 1. Initial mean is the um, mean of the top five excluding the first one, so from number two to five. All right, so we're going from Hubert Davis all the way to Jason. Now, that's the initial mean, so we're going to go ahead and compute that. So we have the sum of values. We're just going to add the, the three-point percentage scored, so it's going to be 44.1 plus Steph Curry's, which is 43.7, plus Drazen's, which is 43.7 plus Jason's, which is 43.4. All right, so we're looking for the initial mean. And we're going to divide that by the number of values that we are considering, 1, 2, 3, 4, from number 2 to 4, um, 2 to 5. So there's four of them. Okay, let's go ahead and compute the sum. So it's going to be uh, 44.1 plus 43.7 plus 43.7 plus 43.4 all right and then we that's um, basically what our um, our to our sum is so let's write that down we have 174.9 and we're dividing that by 4 the sum of the number of values that we are adding okay so divided by 4 and we have 43.725% 43.725% alright so this is the percentage the three-point percentage for numbers 2 to 5 
Now the question is how much does this average 3 point percentage change if we add number one, namely the, the per 3 point percentage score of Steve Kerr, okay? So to do that, we have to find what the final mean is, basically the mean with the number one three, three point um, scorer of all time Steve Kerr into the, into the statistic, okay? So we have for X2, 44.1 plus 43.7, plus 43.7, plus 43.4, and then we are adding the fourth one, with the fifth one, which is 45.4. Okay, so we, are, we see that the sum is going to change. The number, the, the, the number of values or number of terms that we are adding will change also from four to increase to five, since we added one more, okay? So our new sum is going to simply be 174.9 and then we just add 45.4 and that's our new sum. So we have the sum 220.3 divided by the number of values which is 5. So let's compute that with our calculators. 220.3 divided by 5 because we've added one more basketballer, Steve Kerr, to the statistics. And our total now, um, our average, our new mean for the three point percentage is 44.06%. Okay, so what is our change um, in mean? The change in mean is going to be the final mean, x2 minus the initial mean, x1, which is basically 44.06 minus Forty-three point seven two five. Okay, let's go ahead and compute what that is. So we already have forty-four point zero six. We just simply subtract forty-three point seven two five. Okay, so it's going to be zero point three three five. So zero point three three five percent. So what's the meaning of this answer? Let's write our conclusion. How does the mean change? The mean increases because we have a positive answer, okay? So the mean um, of three point percentages did what? Increased by a value of by 0.335%. Okay, so that's how you basically calculate the change in mean. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If the contents of this tutorial helped in your um, studies of um, finding the change in mean, to give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments, just place it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. More clips and support resources can be found on mathgodserve.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.